Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day practice question. Question was in the context of international geopolitics, the term Hoguk is meant as defense drills, aircraft carrier, nuclear submarine or island group in South China Sea. The correct answer is option A, defense drills. Recently, South Korea kicked off their annual Hoguk defense drills, hence option A is correct. The drills are designed to boost their ability to respond to North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. The drills are designed to boost their ability to respond to North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. Now let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding the Office of the Patents, Designs and Trademarks. 1. It is a subordinate office under the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion. 2. It is located at New Delhi. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, Office of Controller General of Patents, Designs and Trademarks, that is CGP DTM, initiated open house dialogue for IP fraternity. CGP DTM is a subordinate office under the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, hence, statement 1 is correct. It is located at Mumbai, hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is correct. The Controller General supervises the working of the Patents Act 1970 as amended the Designs Act 2000 and the Trademarks Act 1999 and also renders advice to the government on matters relating to these subjects. In order to protect the geographical indications of goods, a geographical indications registry has been established in Chennai to administer the geographical indications of goods registration and protection act 1999 under the CGP DTM. Next question is which of the following is not correct about the India's first aluminium freight rake? It was inaugurated at Bhuvaneshwar railway station. Cost is 35% lower as the superstructure is all aluminium. Lower maintenance cost due to higher corrosion and abrasion resistance or fully log bolted construction with no welding on superstructure. The correct answer is option B. Cost is 35% lower as the superstructure is all aluminium. Recently, Union Minister for Railways, Communications and Electronics and Information Technology inaugurated India's first aluminium freight rake 61 BOBR NALH SM1 at Bhuvaneshwar Railway Station. The rake's destination is Bilaspur. Features of aluminium rake are fully log bolted construction with no welding on superstructure. The tear is 3.25 tons lower than normal steel rakes, 180 ton extra carrying capacity resulting in higher throughput per wagon. Cost is 35% higher as the superstructure is all aluminium, hence option B is correct. Lower maintenance cost due to higher corrosion and abrasion resistance and 80% is resale value of the rakes. Next question is which of the following best describes the term Fermi? Gamma ray telescope, quantum computer, humanoid robot or augmented reality? The correct answer is option A, gamma ray telescope. According to NASA, an unusually bright and long-lasting pulse of radiation swept over our planet. As the wave of X-rays and gamma rays passed through the solar system, it triggered detectors at NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, Neil Gehrels Swift Observatory and Wind Spacecraft amongst other observatories. The Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope is a space observatory designed to study the universe in highly energetic frequencies known as gamma rays. It includes participation from NASA, the US Department of Energy and several partners both in the United States and internationally. The mission was launched in 2008. Scientists saw Fermi as a successor to NASA's Compton Gamma Ray Observatory which operated between 1991 and 1999. Hence, option A is correct. Next question is, recently the terms like swas, suffle and star were in the news. These are related to tribal art exhibition, medicinal plant farming, green crackers or environmental impact assessment. The correct answer is option C, green crackers. 
According to the National Green Tribunal, green crackers are permitted only in cities and towns where air quality is moderate or poor. Both green crackers and traditional crackers cause pollution. The only difference is that green crackers cause 30% less air pollution as compared to traditional ones. One should look for green crackers falling only in these three categories, Swas, Suffol and Star, the crackers developed by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Swas is safe water releaser which suppresses the dust released by releasing water vapor in the air. Star is the safe thermite cracker which does not comprise potassium nitrate and sulfur, emits reduced particulate matter disposal and reduced sound intensity. Suffol is safe minimal aluminium which has minimum usage of aluminium and used magnesium instead. Hence, option C is correct. Next question is, in the context of Indian festivals, the Thirthod Bhava is associated with which of the following Indian rivers? Ganga, Brahmaputra, Godavari or Kaveri? The correct answer is option D, Kaveri. Kaveri Sankramana is celebrated during mid-October, that is first day of Tula month as per Hindu calendar at Tala Kaveri in Kodagu district. The river Kaveri is known to spring from the foundation head located in The river Kaveri is known to spring from the mountain head located in Tala Kaveri temple. Thirthod Bhava is the phenomenon involving the appearance of holy water that happens at Brahma Kundike that is spot or fountain head of the pond in located in Tala Kaveri. This water is considered holy, collected and preserved by locals while thousands of visitors take holy dip in Kaveri river to get blessed. Kaveri Sankramana is marked with special puja at temples and at homes of Kodava people. Kaveri Jatre or fair entertains visitors with lots of shopping options, food stalls and joy rides. Hence, option D is correct. Next question is, with reference to the Amazon River Dolphin, consider the following statements. 1. It is also known as the Pink River Dolphin or Boto. 2. It lives only in fresh water. 3. Adult Amazon River Dolphins turn pink or pinkish grey as they mature. 4. It is listed as endangered in the red list of IUCN. How many above given statement or statements is or are correct? Only one statement, only two statements, only three statements or all the four statements. The correct answer is option D, all four statements. The Amazon River Dolphin also known as the Pink River Dolphin or Boto lives only in fresh water. Hence, statement 1 and 2 are correct. It is found throughout much of the Amazon and Orinoco river basins in Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Guana, Peru and Venezuela. Adult Amazon River Dolphins turn pink or pinkish grey as they mature with males being both bigger and pinker than females. Hence, statement 3 is correct. This species is endangered as per the IUCN. Hence, statement 4 is also correct. Therefore, option D is correct. Next question is, which of the following ones produced the Multidimensional Poverty Index or MPI? World Economic Forum, UN Development Program, International Monetary Fund or World Bank Group? The correct answer is option B, UN Development Program. As many as 41.5 crore people exited poverty in India during the 15-year period between 2005-06 and 2019-21. According to the Global Multidimensional Poverty Index, that is MPI, released recently. The report produced by the United Nations Development Program, that is UNDP, and the Oxford Poverty and Human Development Initiative, that is OPHI, shows that the incidence of poverty fell from 55.1% in 2005-06 to 16.4% in 2019-21 in the country. Hence, option B is correct. Improvement in MPI for India has significantly contributed to the decline in poverty in South Asia. It is for the first time that it is not the region with the highest number of poor people at 38.5 crore compared with 57.9 crore in Sub-Saharan Africa. The MPI is calculated by multiplying the incidence of poverty and the average intensity of poverty. The MPI ranges from 0 to 1 and higher values imply higher poverty. The global MPI complements the international $1.90 a day poverty rate, which was revised by the World Bank last month to $2.15 per day. 
Next question is with reference to the biodiversity, the Lycorma delicatula is referred to earthworm, bird, lantern fly, or butterfly. The correct answer is option C, lantern fly. As per reports, spotted lantern flies are feasting on U.S. grape vines and putting vine yards at risk. The spotted lantern fly or Lycorma delicatula is native to China. Hence, option C is correct. Spotted lantern fly feeds on a wide range of fruit, ornamental and woody trees, with tree of heaven being one of the preferred host. They are invasive and can be spread long distances by people who move infested material or items containing egg masses. It eliminates the plant's ability to ripen fruit and to store carbohydrates over winter and most of the death occurs the following year when the plant doesn't wake up in the spring. Next question is, what is the wolf warrior? Diplomacy, naval exercise, terrorist neutralization operation or frequent occurrence of earthquakes? The correct answer is option A, diplomacy. A term that gained popularity especially after Xi became president, Wolf Warrior Diplomacy is a tactic for the Chinese government to extend its ideology beyond China and counter the West and defend itself. It is an unofficial term for the more aggressive and confrontational style of communication that Chinese diplomats have taken to in the last decade. A 2015 Chinese action film titled Wolf Warrior and its sequel have served as the inspiration for the term. The films with their nationalist themes and dialogues focus on Chinese fighters who frequently face off against Western mercenaries. Hence, option A is correct. Last question is, it is also known as Mithila painting and is a traditional Indian folk art that uses geometric patterns, contrasting colors and line drawings. It is always two-dimensional and come with no empty spaces. What is the name of this painting? Madhubani painting, Patchitra painting, Masan painting or Varli painting? The correct answer is option A, Madhubani painting. Madhubani painting, also known as Mithila painting, is a traditional Indian folk art that uses geometric patterns, contrasting colors, and line drawings. Historically, Madhubani painting was passed down from generation to generation in the family of Mithila region. The five distinctive styles are Bharni, Kachni, Tantrik, Godna, and Kohbar. It is always two-dimensional and come with no empty spaces, usually filled with drawings of flowers, animals, birds, and other geometric designs. It often depicts scenes that reflect a connection to nature, god and goddess, like Radha Krishna or religious ceremonies. Natural objects like the sun, the moon, and tribal plants like Tulsi are often painted in traditional art with scenes from daily life. Daily life. Hence, option A is correct. Now it's time for the practice question. Which of the following is not correct about the digital banking units or DBUs? Commercial banks with past digital banking experience are permitted to open DBUs. These units can be opened in Tier 1 to Tier 3 centers. Each DBU must offer certain minimum digital banking products and services or such products should be on both liabilities and assets side of the balance sheet of the digital banking segment. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.